I have a couple of things that I want to fix up. Uh, one of which is my rear left hub is making this shit noise, which I will show you now. <laughs> And I will show you what it was later in the video that was making that noise. I also want to straighten up my steering wheel because when I put it on, I put it on one or two teeth on the splines off uh, Striat. So it's not Striat. Um, and I would like to make it Striat. I've also got this vibration um, coming from the engine around two and a half thousand RPM and looking under the car I found a spot that's missing a bolt and I'm hoping that that's all it is otherwise I'm bamboozled. Now what I'm going to do just to make this video somewhat interesting because it's not going to be very interesting at all I'm going to have a stab at how long it's going to take me and I'll tell you how long it took me. Dat clock saying 9.30 and I'll be done skis and if I'm bothered when I've done all that I'm going to take the car for a wash because she's got bird shit all around up in this all up in my window somewhere let's get started I've got 2 hours and 10 minutes to do something that would probably take a mechanic 15 minutes to do It took me half an hour because it was so ridiculously tight. This is literally finger tight. So split pin doing its job. That might be why. <laughs> That could possibly be the only reason why my ABS sensor doesn't work. Because it's sensing. Ha! Huh. I learn something every day. That is a magnet. Alright, so these are the two hubs I've got my old hub new hub look how shiny and clean it is hey this piece of metal here which is supposed to seat in there nicely has become dislodged enough that when I'm driving that's actually here bouncing around on the axle so this one's in there nice and tight I hope I'm just gonna try to not touch it and be a Judd man little did I know at this stage the hub that I bought was meant for a non-turbo. So, I'm trying to put my big shaft into a little tiny hole. Not looking too good. So yeah, I think my little two hour schedule that I had, probably just gonna get the hub done. Didn't get it done. All I ended up doing was putting the original hub back on with that ring in there. That happened three weeks later. I'm gonna have to stop filming now because my phone's about to die because I'm on... Judd this new. All right, so I've been trying to get this bolt out where you can see the bracket has snapped off. 
And uh, the reason I'm trying to get it out is because it was actually missing before and I put that bolt in there, but it was too long, so I needed to put some washers in there. That was about two weeks ago. And since then, I've tried to pull it back out just so I can put some washers on it and put it back in. But just trying to get it out, that happened and it snapped off. But what I did notice is here on the lower part of the dump, dump pipe, uh, you can see all that black shit and it looks like it must have had an exhaust leak there. So I've just gone to do up that bolt there and it was actually quite loose. So um, hopefully me tightening that, that might have actually been the source of that strange sound that I've been getting anyway. And I'll find out shortly. Well, it wasn't the source of the sound. problem with the car is getting to become one of those unsolvable problems and I'm just about giving up on it. When you look in that video you can see the stainless steel headers that are down there. I actually bought those really cheap and I have a feeling that they're the reason that's making that vibration. They've caused me lots of problems ever since I did my head rebuild. I'm just going to live with the problem for now and um, I'll fix it up when, when I upgrade the exhaust because plans for the exhaust system are to either get a custom um, exhaust manifold so I can fit an aftermarket turbo in there or to even just put my stock one back on there and just put a dump coming straight up out of the the engine boot lid. My theory was partly also because of that bolt but I actually have no idea whether or not that bolt was causing the vibration but I feel like it should be definitely bolted down because that it's bolted directly straight to the hot side of the turbo and it's probably going to be bouncing around a little bit especially if I'm accelerating on and off really heavily at the track so we'll just see what happens there. Uh, I managed to get my steering wheel nice and straight, so at least the one thing that didn't really matter too much um, is the one thing that I fixed. And what was the other thing that I wanted to fix? And with the hub, I've taken it off twice now and put the same hub back on both times. As I said, uh, I was trying to put the non-turbo hub on a, on a turbo axle and that's why it wouldn't fit. Um, I ended up putting that little ring from the, from the turbo one into the non-turbo one, but funny enough, um, that noise that I was playing over as the noise my car was making, which I'm not sure if you may have noticed or not, uh, it was just me going, <laughs> like Mr. Bean in the Mr. Bean movie, and uh, just as luck would have it, my car is actually making that sound now, so I will try and get, a, get it for you, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it on video, but that's why I say fuck you to this car. But, it's just a noise, who cares? Me, that's who cares. I fucking hate noises and rattles. But, that ring, I have a feeling, it has to do with um, my ABS sensor. That little sensor, that magneto sensor, seems to line up perfectly with the, with the ring on it. And I have a feeling those holes are what make, the, make it lock on and off. Um, so, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna rip that thing out. Fuck it, I'm sick of hearing that bloody thing rattle. Okay, I'm going to take this hub off one last time, but this time I'm going to time myself. See how quickly I can pull it off, get rid of that stupid ring that's making that noise, put it all back together. ETA, 16 and a half minutes. Stinky. Alright, just for evidence sake, it's 5 past 5, and that's Link walking on my table. Get off, bastard.
Stinky? How long did I take? Well, it wasn't 16 and a half minutes, but I'm pretty happy with that. It doesn't hurt to be optimistic. Does it, Link? Does it hurt to be optimistic? You live in optimism, don't ya? Don't ya? Don't ya?